Hey, this is Emil Perlinski with VentureBeat, and we're looking at Microsoft's new Surface Studio. Uh, it's their first desktop PC, and as you can see, it's an all-in-one. Uh, so there's only one screen size, it's 28 inches. Uh, and the main, let's take a look at the device before we dive into any features. Uh, the main thing here is the hinge, so this is a zero gravity hinge as they're marketing it. And it's very easy to move up and down. Let me move the keyboard out of the way here. So this is how you this is how you'd use the device, you know, a normal desktop. And here's how far it goes. This goes down to 20 degrees. Let me move the keyboard. And so this is as flat as it goes. And this, again, so this is a touch screen. Here's a few images. As you can see, it's a beautiful screen, uh, 28 inches, and here's the hinge again. Very easy to move up and down. Doesn't completely feel weightless, but it's very effortless to move. Uh, here's some specs. So this 32 gigs of RAM. You can have a Core i7 or Core i5 computer. Obviously, this is running Windows 10 Pro. Um, and as you can see, pen and touch support with 10 touch points, as you would expect. Uh, 13.5 million pixels. Uh, so you have, again, you have touch screen, touch input, pen input, keyboard, mouse, and the new, was it this? Yeah, this one. So the surface dial here. It's very light, I think it's like 145 grams. And we'll quickly show you one of the apps here that they were demo demoing on stage. It's called Mental Canvas. If it opens properly for me. So I'll put this screen down to its 20 degree mode, or its lowest. And I'm just going to place the surface dial on the screen. And if you just tap it, if it's going to work. Um, so I can choose, for example, uh, brush size. And then as I'm painting or drawing or whatever, I just move and adjust the brush size as I want as I go along. Obviously nothing like this, you would be, you know, making much more precise drawings. Um, and the other option would be, for example, you can just undo the way you would just by scrolling. I only really made two drawings there, so very subtle. Um, so yeah, so that's the Surface Studio. I'm going to dive into more features uh, when we get some more time with it. Uh, but the you know the big highlights are of course the surface dial uh, if you want to get really into it and other than that it's a beautiful desktop now let's go over here to the hinge so over here you can see this is where all the engineering went in this is what's going to make the device stand out the most. As you can see, I'm using just a few fingers and I'm moving it up and down. Whereas the actual 28 inch device right here is one without a hinge. It takes, you know, it takes two hands to lift this. This is quite heavy. Uh, did you want to tell us a little bit about the hinge? Yeah, absolutely. I can tell you a little bit about it right now. All right. So the hinge system uh, has about 80 custom components. Um, or unique components and 170 total components and there are basically three unique spring systems a, a total of six springs all the springs and the linkages which you'll see on this side if you look um, are custom tuned in the factory to give us just the right torque profile to counterbalance the changing weight and gravity effects of a nearly 13 pound uh, display Key design targets were uh, no noise, smooth operation that just 
completely transfers and um, transforms your desktop into studio mode um, and does that over the life of the product. And uh, it took, took a lot of work and iteration to get everything quite right. A lot of custom materials, there's a lot of uh, patents pending on the system. Um, we're super proud of what was achieved. Awesome. Good. If you have any specific questions, I'll try to answer them. How flat can you lay the display? Okay, so the display goes down uh, to 20 degrees from the table. And it goes up uh, past 90 because what we wanted is in certain scenarios for glare or maybe if you have it up high like this, you'd want to actually tilt it forward a little bit. Right. So it goes beyond 90 at the top. Um, but it goes down to 20 at the bottom. Perfect. Does the hinge come off? Uh, or is this permanent? No, this is permanent. How, does it travel like in this in this form box? Uh, yeah, this is the form. Yeah, it, it travels in a, almost that form in the box. Yeah. All right, all right. What? Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. One more thing I want to show you guys over here. Uh, just a quick word. Obviously, this device is meant for designers and artists, but Microsoft is pushing gaming a lot here. Um, you know. With the Windows 10 creative update, they're pushing a lot of gaming features, including broadcasting. So, you know, it's not going to sell like crazy with gamers, but Microsoft is making sure to push it uh, as a big, you know, gaming device. Uh, you know, they're more powerful computer yet. All right, that's it. We'll be taking a closer look uh, with uh, Surface Studio. It's three thousand dollars coming later this year, and. Keep you posted. That's Emil with VentureBeat. Thank you.